Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome back if you're returning. Thank you all so very much for joining me here today. It's the Empress, and in today's video, we are looking at the urgent messages that your guides have for you today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to show you a close-up of the cards here. And I'm going to ask you to take a couple of deep breaths, really try to ground yourself, connect to your intuition, connect to your guides, and ask which one of these cards out in front of you is holding the messages that you need to hear. Once you have chosen, I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each reading in the description box below, along with the links to the cards that I'm using for anybody who feels drawn to any of the decks that I use here today. You can also find the link to my Etsy store. Forewarning on that, it is quite minimal as I am currently in the process of building my own website and I will definitely keep you guys updated in regards to that. You can also find the information as to how to donate to the channel for anybody who feels called to do so. Um, and I greatly, greatly appreciate everybody who has taken the time to donate or to just contribute in the comments or hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Uh, so with all of that being said, you guys, go ahead and pause the video if you still need a moment. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose the lover's card with the green hair Jasper, this reading is for you. And we are looking at what you need to hear right now or urgent messages from your spirit guides. And this is the lover's card that you guys chose here. And um, a big message coming through from those of you that chose this pile is that there may be something... Uh, that you guys are dealing with that may be kind of obsessive. Um, so there, there is this kind of umbrella question here of what are you committed to? Um, and this is mentally, emotionally, and how is that making you act or present yourself? Uh, the lover's card is also ruled by Gemini energy. So you guys may have some very strong Gemini um, placements within your chart, or you may be dealing with a Gemini. Um, so Gemini energy is very much so about uh, social interaction, uh, networking, but there's also this sense of needing every single detail, needing to know how everything is going to um, kind of unfold, a uh, very kind of, uh, almost like 20 questions or interrogation kind of energy coming in here as well. So some of you guys may be trying to find the truth of a situation and almost kind of obsessing over it because it's like a part of your intuition or a part of you may feel like you know the truth about something and you're trying to find proof or trying to get somebody to maybe take responsibility or admit something um, interesting. So let's go ahead here and pull some more tarot for group number one uh, and get some more information surrounding this. So we're going to start off with a couple more tarot cards with the energy supporting you and the energy you may need to look out for in regards to this. And then we'll um, move on to some different cards. So let's see here, group number one, we have the Three of Swords supporting you. So there's definitely something here for you guys where you're being asked to maybe There's a need to separate from something, um, something that maybe you care very muchly about. So muchly, I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, um, something that you care like very much about. And I feel like for some of you guys, this could be a person. Um, but for some of you guys, I feel like this is more of this need for validation or this need for proof or this need for closure even for some of you guys. Maybe you're like really obsessing over needing um, some sort of closure, but the energy supporting you is this energy of separation. Um, so there's really a need to kind of let the chips fall where they fall instead of trying to find a reason or trying to, 
uh, change it. Interesting. So some of you guys could be dealing with a person. Some of you guys, this could be a job that maybe you lost or maybe you were fired from um, and you don't know why or, um, you know, maybe somebody left you behind and you don't know why. Maybe somebody maybe cheated or lied to you and you don't understand why and there's like this strong essence of almost like private in investigator energy like really needing to get to the bottom of this really needing those answers and it's almost like a subconscious way for you group number one to hold on to this and not let it be separate from you so the energy supporting you is separation right now however that resonates for you and your situation is this is a general reading and that come will that will come through different for everybody let's see what energy you need to look out for right now uh, group number one, the moon. Uh, yeah, so some of you guys may have a fear of being alone, that there's kind of like this need to be aware of because it may be driving your actions in some way, shape, or form, as well as um, some of you guys may have a tendency or kind of a knack for allowing things to be pushed under the rug or ignored or allowing yourself to kind of lie to yourself just as long as things don't change. Um, so again, you're being asked to see what it is that you're committing yourself to. Are you committed to your fear and allowing your fear to dictate your actions? Are you committed to this need for closure or for answers and not allowing yourself to separate from something that you are meant to be separate from at this point in time in your life, group number one? Wow. So this is quite impactful, I feel, for you guys. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of... A couple more um, tarot, I'm sorry, a, a different deck of tarot cards and get some clarifiers here, group number one, and go a little deeper into this. Group number one. Why is the Three of Swords supporting group number one? Wow, we have the Two of Visions. So for a lot of you guys, this could definitely have to do with a relationship of some sort. It doesn't have to be romantic, but most definitely can be. This could be friendships. This could be business partnerships or jobs. This could be um, people that maybe even you weren't necessarily even maybe friends or close to that may be left, but you were holding on to them or needing them to be close to you just to kind of keep tabs in some way, shape, or form. But there's something here where this separation, this loss, this breakup is supporting you because... You guys may have a tendency to lose yourself in, in relationships with the moon here and this need to kind of be aware of this moon energy. You may have a tendency to maybe camouflage yourself into the other person or there's some codependent energy here. So really separating from what it is that you are maybe codependently attached to is uh, going to be super beneficial for you in your healing process, even though right now it really doesn't seem that way. But group number one, so this doesn't even necessarily have to be a person for you with this two of visions coming out. This could be any kind of codependency. Again, this could be an emotional codependency. This could be a mind, a mental kind of mindset or perception where you are very codependent and need somebody to make decisions for you or need something to maybe tell you where to go or how to do things. Um, this could be any sort of substances um, or any sort of coping mechanisms that you guys use that maybe you've been very attached to. Again, that kind of obsessive energy that I picked up on in the beginning is coming through here. So it's like you guys are being separated from any sort of codependency at this time um, in order for you to learn how to maintain independence while still in a partnership or while still, uh, or even for some of you guys, in order to learn how to maintain this independence in the face of some sort of temptation. Okay, um, let's go ahead here and continue uh, and clarify the moon 
to start with for group number one. Why is the moon here? Uh, to be aware of. We have the Ten of Boons coming out. And the very next card is the Lovers. Um, so group, group number one, there's definitely something here. Um, some sort of like illusionary factor where maybe you thought that you were going to build a life or a lifestyle around a person or a situation or a job. And it's almost like this this life is an illusion that you've built up in your head and you've become kind of dependent or attached to this idea of what things could have been even though that isn't in alignment with this other person or this other factor that's coming in here. There's this sense of illusion that you guys are really being asked to be aware of, as well as for some of you, there may be somebody coming in trying to promise you the world, trying to promise you stability, trying to promise you everything that you've always wanted, or somebody saying all of the right things. And there's a need to be aware of that because I really feel for you guys here that there's definitely some sort of illusionary energy where... Maybe you are in love with the potential of something and not like the reality of what it actually is or what it's actually capable of or what it's actually doing or causing within your life, group number one. Or maybe not recognizing what it's taking away from your life, um, depending on what this is for you. Because, um, well, regardless of what this is for you, it's taking your independence so whatever it is that makes you feel like you aren't capable or um, whatever it is that you use to cover up that feeling or that feeling of being alone or that fear of being alone, whatever it is that you tell yourself to make you feel better or whatever it is that you connect to to make yourself feel better, there is um, far too much of an adult indulgence in this, whatever it is for you. Um, and it's almost like some of you guys have maybe convinced yourself that the path you're on is the path to your destiny or where you're meant to go or what you're meant to build or how you're meant to move forward. And it's really, I feel for you guys, more of a desire for you. Like you wanted that so bad that you made yourself believe that that was where you're meant to go, even though there's a part of you inside very buried that has told you differently. You just weren't allowing yourself to listen to it. Interesting. So let's take a look at the lover's card here and see if we can't get a little bit more specific about what this attachment is or what it is that you're maybe committed to here for group number one. We have the Weaver of Boons coming out. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys may be, it's almost like really convincing yourself that you're only able to accomplish these things if you're attached to this other person or this other thing. Like you've carved out this path for you in your mind um, and, and have convinced yourself that there's only one way to get there and that this attachment or this codependency is like vital, like is of vital importance to this path that you want and it's not. Um, so a big part of your path right now, group number one, is really learning about your self-worth, I feel, and really learning how you are worthy and capable of comfort of, um, you know, sensuality, of even um, money or financial success. You, you are worthy of that. And again, there is a need for you to recognize how maybe what it is that you're attached to is actually the cause or the source of what is draining your idea of your own self-worth or draining your finances or draining your ability to live comfortably. Um, so there's something here where somebody or something is trying to convince you that they are why you have what you have, that they are why you're where you're at in your life, that they are 
why you're comfortable or as comfortable as you are when in reality they are taking away from you and keeping you from what you actually deserve, whatever that is for you. If it's a person, a job that's draining you or um, some sort of substance or addiction or attachment, whatever that is for you, you've convinced yourself or it has convinced you that it is a necessary part of your comfort and your worth and your destiny and it's not. Um, I feel like, it, I really feel like it's not group number one. So let's go ahead and pull some oracle messages and see what else we have come out here for you, group number one. In regards to this message that your guides wanted you to have right now. We have guardians of the land with protection coming out here. Yeah, so again, it's like you're being separated from this. Whatever this is for you, group number one, it's like there are forces trying to cause separation or maybe some of you are already in separation but really trying to kind of claw your way back into union. And the separation from whatever this is for you is so super important to your growth and your health and your independence um, and your self-worth as well. And we have the Wizard of the Woods with focus. Yeah, so there's a big need to focus on the self right now for group number one, to focus on the self, not on um, what you feel like you're missing or who you feel like you need or what you're attached to. There's like this strong sense of focusing on independence and protecting the self and the self-worth and the self-esteem, um, the self-image, like really getting very acquainted with uh, the self right now for group number one. Let's pull some more cards. We have the Ocean's Muse with Water Wisdom, Intuition, Hermit's Light, and Discovery. Yeah, so there's a need for a lot of self-discovery right now for group number one. Here is the Ocean's Muse. And the Hermit's Light, this is all about finding that light within yourself instead of seeking it outside of you. Finding that passion, that spark, that ignition, that activation, that motivation within yourself instead of convincing yourself that you have to have something outside of you to ignite you, to make you feel things, to make you want to move forward in life. Uh, no, you have all of that within you, group number one. You do. We also have astral travels, possible impossibility, freedom, traveler, inner dreams, group number one. This is all about freedom for you. Um, you know, we have inner dreams. This is about finding who you really are and what you really want and what you want to accomplish within your life instead of like falling into somebody else's dream or illusion or something else's dream or illusion. Um, but freedom freedom group number one freedom um with this being the number 10 here i do feel for some of you guys that this is like a, a closure of a bigger cycle for you of a very codependent cycle for you um or a cycle of anything that made you feel like you needed something outside of yourself to be successful or to feel love or loved or um, anything like that, you don't. So let's pull you a couple last messages for group number one, a couple last messages, guidance or advice or any actions you should be taking right now for group number one. Okay, we have... So starting off, we have... Um, this image here for you guys and the message on this card is happy accident accident fortunate accidents can act as guides to edit and be open to where you should go next so um again for group number one even though it feels wrong or it feels like you've been taken off course you have not okay you have not been taken off course you've actually been realigned um, and here is the second image for you guys. And the message on this card here is growth. Feel open, willing, and proud of your desire to explore new opportunities for self-development. 
self-development group number one that's beautiful i love that um so be open to growth be open to letting go of things or of people or of uh ideas that you were attached to or that you had put so much energy into because you thought you needed those things to be able to stay safe or secure or stable you you don't um and allow yourself to be redirected allow yourself to experience something new group number one uh, but this is what I'm seeing for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose card number two with this Amazonite stone, this reading is for you. And we are looking at messages you need to hear right now. Um, and you guys here chose the death card. And I absolutely love this particular death card in this deck. Um, the energy I'm really getting for you guys here is this essence of um, choices and their consequences or like this kind of, you know, the every action has an equal but opposite reaction kind of energy here. So there is something I feel like you guys may be um, being asked to grab hold of or being asked to take advantage of or to move towards, but there's like this hesitancy here because you know that if you grab this, you're going to have to let go of what's currently in your hand in order to make room to grab hold. And it's kind of that energy coming through here that your guides want to talk to you about today. So there's something here that is trying to replace something else. Okay, interesting. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards, group number two, and see, uh, starting off, the energy supporting this, and then we'll also look at the energy to be aware of surrounding this, and then we'll clarify, and then we'll pull some oracle messages. So I do want to touch on the fact that the death card is Scorpio energy, so you may be dealing with a Scorpio or have some heavy Scorpio placements within your own birth chart. Um... You don't have to, but that is here. But let's go ahead and see the energy supporting you in this group number two. The energy supporting you through this death or transition. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so for those of you, if this is surrounded around your physical security, your finances, your materialistic kind of energies here, you are very protected in those um, kinds of things. So for those of you that are looking to change jobs, this really looks very supportive of that. Um, for those of you that are looking to maybe sell or buy a home or sell or buy a car or any major purchases or kind of um, loans even, I see you guys being very, very supported in your physical and material energies here um, in regards to letting go of something in order to grab something else. So what I'm seeing here is that maybe there's going to be like in this transitional phase, there's going to be a... a, a almost like an in-between energy here for group number two. And what I mean by this is like maybe if you're taking this opportunity for a new job, you quit your old job, maybe there's two weeks, maybe there's a month in between uh, paychecks or in between, you know, reciprocation um, or in between the time that you that you sell your house and the time where you get to move into your new house. Um, anything like that, you are very protected in and you are going to have what you need, the resources you need to be comfortable and protected in that realm um, is definitely here for you. So you're very supported materialistically and financially right now. Um, I'm really seeing for you guys that now is a very good time to make any investments or purchases or transitions in that area of your life. Let's see what energy you're being asked to be aware of in, in regards to this for group number two. Whoa. Okay, they both want to come out, so we'll touch on both of them. So we have the Ten of Wands. So we have um, a warning here to not 
hold on too tightly to the things that you have because it's going it's it's going to cause you to be burnt out and it's going to be far more detrimental to your physical materialistic and financial realms than allowing this change to happen um Wow, so the Ten of Wands can talk about responsibilities and obligations and hard work and um, I feel like a lot of you guys, there is some some bills or some, uh, you know, hours at work or uh, the energy surrounding these things that are really kind of stressing you down, stressing you out, weighing you down, making you feel very heavy, making you feel very uncomfortable, making you feel like you don't have time for anything else. There is an opportunity coming in, if it hasn't already, that's going to allow this to change. Um, but you have to be aware of holding on too tightly out of fear of not having enough. Because I see here you're very supported and you will have everything you need. But there may be a fear coming up surrounding this change or this transition um, in regards to responsibilities, obligations, work, and money. Um, because you're scared to let go of, of the control over it that you do have right now. Um, you're scared that things may fail potentially or that you're not going to have enough or scared of falling behind in some way, shape or form. Uh, really be aware of that and don't allow that to make your decision for you. Okay. And then we also have the Queen of Swords coming out here. So um, with that energy coming out, kind of underlying this Ten of Wands, there is definitely something here about not allowing yourself to cut things off too quickly or say no too quickly out of, again, like this energy of working too hard or putting too many hours in or being stressed out about bills. It's like there is potential for this opportunity or this new job or this new energy to be brought up somewhere and um, you almost just immediately shutting it down, group number two. So there's a need to be aware of that. Don't like immediately shut anything down. Allow it to at least be heard um, to, to be recognized, okay? So let's go ahead here and pull some clarifiers group number two and go a little deeper into this starting off let's take a look at this queen of pentacles that's supporting you why is this queen of pentacles here for group number two we have the weaver of visions coming out so we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups essentially here and Again, this is saying there is still going to be a steady flow of income. That is like the biggest message here. There's going to be a steady flow of income. Don't allow yourself to hold back from anything that you feel called to right now, group number two. Don't allow yourself to be held back. Don't allow yourself to withdraw. So a steady flow of resources, whatever it is that you feel like maybe you're not going to have enough for or that you shouldn't do because you're not going to have enough for there there is enough and it will come in as soon as you take the action towards what you're going to need that for so even if you find that your bank account maybe gets drained completely don't allow, allow fear to hold you back or to stop you or to make you go back to something um, or back to your previous job or back to um, you know, whatever it was for you that was making you feel this stress, okay? Don't allow yourself to get freaked out and and go running back, okay? Um, let's take a look at this Ten of Wands here, group number two. Wow, we have the liar coming out, or the devil. Um, yeah, so temptation. Don't allow temptation or fear or attachments to um, a certain lifestyle, a certain routine. Um, so it, there's this, this energy of things getting shooken up for you. So you may find that this new opportunity or this new job or this new situation, whatever this is, may come in and require you to work a different shift. It may require you to do things completely different or alter or change your routine or your schedule. Um, it's going to be very tempting to stay in the heavy energy because it, it's going to seem like that is easier immediately. Um, and there's really, really a big message here for group number two to make sure that you don't go running back to what you are breaking free from. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. 
let's take a look at this death card. Uh, group number two, we have the four of boons. Yeah, see, and that's what's really trying to change for you guys is this energy of feeling very stuck in your physical world. So there is like an expansion or some growth trying to happen for you financially and physically, maybe expanding your home, building on, moving, moving jobs, um, a lot of physical, environmental, financial changes trying to come in. And there is this energy of you guys really trying to hold on to everything that you have because you've worked so hard for it. Um, so you may really struggle with, you know, allowing yourself to uh, use the resources you have because, you know, yeah, you might have the money to pay this bill, but then maybe it leaves your bank account lower than what you like it. And that may really kind of trigger you and make you feel like you need to run back to work or you need to go back and, and, um, maybe redo things. And no, you don't, you guys are being asked to break free from this energy of having to hold on to everything you have or to hoard or to protect your finances in the way that you do, because that energy is trying to change for you. You're, there's like a steady flow of income trying to come in. So especially for those of you that maybe have been out of work, um, that's going to be changing. For those of you who have been living in poverty or in lack, that's going to be changing, but you have to allow it to change by allowing yourself to do things differently than the way that you've been doing them. Um, and that means spending what you have. That means using what you have, being resourceful, as well as being generous, not hoarding what you have out of fear of not having enough. Um, so, you know, if somebody comes knocking on your door asking for a cup of sugar and you only have two cups left and you tell them no because you're scared of only having one cup, um, now they have none and you have twice as much and that's greed. So beware of greed, okay? Um, beware of how that may come up in your life. Um, and how that might kind of try to grab a hold of you. Let's go ahead and pull some oracle messages here for group number two. Group number two. We have the daffodil fairy with new beginnings. Love it. Yeah, so there's definitely new beginnings trying to come in, new opportunities, new jobs, new home, expansion of your resources for sure. Um, and then we have the maple spirit with generosity. Look at that, you guys. Be generous. Be open to giving and receiving um, in whatever ways that might come through for you in your life right now, okay? Um, you know, because again, like I said, like every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Um, going back to that, like if you guys find yourself at a cash register somewhere and they ask you if you want to donate a dollar to the children's hospital and you say no, that's like saying no to receiving as well. You know, that's just an example, for example, so don't take that like literally. But, you know, what, what makes you say no in situations like that? What, what makes you, is it lack? Is it a fear of lack? Is it a fear that you're going to need that $1? Um, you know, so generosity. Generosity group number two. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so our next card here, we have snakeskin. Information, secrets, body language, and senses. Um, so what I really feel for that for you guys is like this shedding of snakeskin. Like this shedding of... A life for some of you, this is a shedding of a lifestyle where maybe you were doing things that weren't necessarily of higher vibrational energies, if you will, um, in order to bring in money. Maybe you were selling things on the side, maybe you were selling things to people that could potentially cause harm, maybe you were, you know, doing things in an illegal manner, maybe you were doing things that just didn't reflect very good on you. Um, and that is changing, I feel, for you guys here. And there's a need, again, like this need to be aware of running back to doing those things for the quick reward, whatever that was for you. Um, we also have uh, 
pyrokinesis. Debate, rage, revolution, and attention. So I do feel for you guys um, a lot of like activation energies, a lot of um, like fire energies, almost like Ace of Wands energies um, where you're going to be very motivated, but there's like this possibility for burnout here. Like be very aware of burnout. Be very aware of letting yourself put yourself under too much pressure. Um, or too many expectations because I'm seeing here for you guys that that could kind of end in more of a negative way for you if you allow yourself to be weighted down by the expectations of others or by responsibilities or by um, this need to be better or be in a better place. Um, so take it one step at a time. And don't try to force things, okay? Allow it to happen. Allow this change, allow this transition to happen. And don't be scared um, of not having what you need because you will have what you need. It may take everything that you have um, before you see a gain begin to happen again. But that's okay. It's almost like you guys are being cleared out in order for new to come in. Kind of like that hand energy, that needing to drop what you have in order to pick up something new kind of energy. Wow. Let's pull you a couple last messages. Any last guidance, advice, um, or actions that you should be taking right now? And I dropped one on the floor. Let's pull one more. For group number two. Okay, um, we're going to take three because those both want to come out. So starting off here, let me get these situated. So starting off here, this is the first image here and the message on this card is seed. Having the intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity. So group number two, there is a big need to recognize that, you know, things will grow. Um, don't get discouraged. Don't give up too quickly before the growth happens, okay? Um, the second image here for you guys and the message on this card is collaboration. Creative people can be inspired by sharing and stimulating creativity in others. And this could have to do with that kind of giving and receiving and that generosity spirit as well. For group number two, like really giving um, and receiving. Um, or some of you guys may be working with somebody else or coming into, um, you know, maybe asking for help for some of you guys may be necessary and allowing yourself to do that, giving yourself permission to, you know, ask for help or to work with other people and not feeling like you have to have, have to do everything by yourself, okay? Um, and then your last card here. Here is the image and the message on this card is counsel. Seek out the counsel of those whose lives and creative work you most admire. Yeah, so there's that kind of asking for help as well. So group number two, there's a big message here to allow yourself to move into kind of this new lifestyle, really. And don't be scared to learn from other people. Don't be scared to ask for help. Don't be scared to, you know go through the process instead of feeling like you need that quick reward, okay? That's the biggest message I'm getting here is like be very mindful of needing that immediate gratification because that immediate gratification is going to land you in a very low vibrational situation or environment, okay? Uh, but this is what I'm seeing from my beautiful group number two. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number three. Those of you that chose card number three with the blue calcite, this reading is for you. And we are looking at what messages your guides 
want you to have right now um, and you guys chose the judgment card so starting off this card is ruled by Libra and Libra kind of has a reputation of being very indecisive um, or can be indecisive and that kind of rolls over into all of the air signs but that's really only one side of the door here right for for that kind of energy or especially with the Libra energy one side of the scales because I feel like especially with Libra there can be either indecisiveness or like this hasteful decision making <laughs> um, and I feel like group number three you guys are there's something here about making a choice making like this final decision to let something go or to move into your healing like recognizing how far you've come and realizing that even though maybe in your mind you thought that if something ever came back into your your space or if this thing ever came back or if this opportunity ever came back or if this person ever came back you'd go back to that I feel like you guys have come to a certain point in your journey where you're recognizing that you've come so far that you and whatever that other thing is, is no longer on the same page and you're choosing to continue moving forward with the path you're currently on instead of to go back to whatever this is that's that may be trying to even like reconcile at the time that you're watching this video. So there is like this choice to move forward into your healing um, and this choice to not allow like there, it's something here about like whatever this is that's coming back into your life or trying to come back into your life and make its presence known that you're realizing that it isn't worth you stopping. It isn't worth you slowing down because you've been working so hard towards a specific goal or milestone or towards healing or towards whatever it is for you. You've worked so hard to get as far as you are and you're realizing that if you choose to like go back to this thing or to this person that it's going to stop you or cause stagnation within your path or within your process and you're realizing that that isn't you want that less than you want to reconcile with this other thing like you want you, you're realizing like this balancing energy I don't I'm not articulating this very well but it's it's almost like you're realizing that you want to move forward you want to keep progressing more than you want to reconcile with whatever this is I think that came out a little clearer so <laughs> let's go ahead here group number three and get into your cards we're going to start off here with looking at the energy supporting this and the energy to be aware of for group number three so there is like this essence of like weighing something outweighing the other thing and it's almost like opposite of what you thought it would be or what it would have been at one point in time in your life and on your journey. Um, so it's almost like Eight of Cups energy coming through here where you're recognizing that it's time to let go of something that you would always love or that you thought would always be there okay um or letting go of an idea of how your life was supposed to be or how you thought your life would turn out and and recognizing that like yeah that idea was great and that idea got you through a lot within your life but that isn't actually where you want to go anymore um wow so let's see here group number three we have the four of wands supporting you I love that. So a lot of you guys here, what you thought would make you stable and secure and happy and feel safe isn't actually what makes you feel that anymore. And what does make you feel that is what's supporting you right now. So this desire to continue moving forward, this desire to proceed with your healing and your growth and your ascension and your awakening and your uh, kind of soul evolution, I feel like that's a big part of your stability and a big part of like your soul's purpose here on this earth. And you're realizing that this path that you're on supports you and celebrates you in a far bigger way than what this other path ever could wow some of you guys may be in like a soulmate relationship or um some sort of romantic relationship that 
turned into more than you ever thought it would be and this other person that's trying to come back maybe that's the person that you thought you'd end up with you're realizing that that's not who you want anymore that 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 has faded more than you ever thought it would that's just for maybe one or two of you but that is definitely an energy that's here for some of you this could be about like a job but I'm really feeling like soul's purpose here like where you thought your soul's purpose was or where you thought you were destined to end up ended up being somewhere else and that that other thing that you thought you were meant for is coming back around and you're choosing your new life over your old life wow For some of you, this could be a twin flame relationship trying to come back into the picture and you're recognizing that, that your journey doesn't include you guys being together. I just dropped some cards. At least not, not right now, um, depending on your situation. Um, but I just really am getting the sense of like realizing that you're happier without whatever this is that's trying to come back into your life and choosing to not let it come back, choosing to not allow yourself to slow down or become stagnant. So let's see the energy to be aware of for group number three. Wow, the six of wands. It's very interesting. So really what I'm seeing here for you guys is to be aware of this illusion of... It, it's almost like... Interesting. Um, I'm not even... This is a very kind of interesting, almost abstract kind of reading here. But it's almost like you guys are being asked to be aware of leaving behind the work that you've done. Um, the Six of Wands talks about victory. It talks about overcoming conflict. It talks about overcoming um, competition. And for a lot of you guys, um, there's like this illusion that you've done that. Like a lot of you guys maybe were competing for somebody's attention or f like wanting somebody to choose you. And it's like now they're giving you this illusion that they're choosing you and there's a need to be aware of that. Uh, I don't, that's very interesting. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, let's get some clarifiers. So starting off, we're going to be taking a look at the Four of Wands that's supporting you. Uh, why is the Four of Wands here for group number three? The Nine of Visions. Beautiful. So there is like wish fulfillment supporting you. There is even maybe some sort of manifestation um, supporting you, but with the Nine of Visions, this is like a wish come true, a dream come true. So maybe you guys have made some sort of dream come true uh, just in a different way than what you thought it would or with a different person than who you thought it would be with. And, and that is like that stability, that manifestation, that happiness, that celebratory solid energy whatever this is whether it's a relationship or or just this desire to continue moving forward and to really like build on your life um it, it's very solid and it's very supportive for you guys and there is a need to kind of lean into that right now i feel for you guys um like lean into your accomplishments lean into the stability and the security that you've created for yourself lean into the dreams that have come true lean into the things that make you happy right now um let's take a look at the six of wands group number three okay so we have two that want to come out so i'll touch on both of them here so the energy to be mindful of we have the five of visions coming out which is like grief and loss 
Um, and I really feel for you guys that it's almost like, okay, so I'm just going to kind of speak like this is a person that's trying to come back in, but apply this however it resonates to whatever situation this is for you. It's almost like this person maybe was with somebody else and um, they got left behind um, or they broke up. There was a separation in some way, shape or form here. And this person or this thing that's coming back into your life trying to reconcile is trying to give you this illusion that they have chosen you. Um, when in reality, what it was, was they lost something and now they're trying to make it look better. Interesting. So beware of any kind of narcissistic, illusionary kind of energies coming from anybody here. Um, I really feel for you guys that this definitely has to do with something trying to come back into your life that you are are not having and that is the right path for you because I really feel like whatever this is that's trying to come back into your life here isn't they aren't necessarily lying it isn't necessarily lying but it's almost like kind of twisting the truth and making it look like something that it isn't um, interesting so I'm going to take this card back here um, just to kind of get it out of the way, but I did want to kind of touch on it a little bit. But yeah, there's this strong energy here of, of like having this happiness and this support and this guidance and this stability and this safety, this security really holding you up right now. And, and then there's this energy trying to come back into your life, making it look like Making it, there's just this making it look like something it isn't. Um, I, whatever that is for you. Let's go ahead here and pull another card and take a look at this judgment energy and get a little bit of a clearer message in regards to this for group number three. This seems like quite a specific kind of reading. So some of you guys, if this isn't resonating, maybe try a different pile, uh, but let me know if it is. So here we have the Enchanter's Wheel coming out on Judgment. Yeah, it's time to turn the page. You guys are moving into a new phase of life. You guys are moving into um, a new reality, and it's like this person or this energy, this situation is trying to pull you back um, out of their own fear, really is what I'm seeing here, like their own fear of their their kind of illusion that they're living in being shattered. Um, interesting. Let's go ahead here, group number three, and pull you guys some oracle messages and see what else Spirit has to say to you in regards to this group number three. We have Foggy Bog with Patience. Yeah, so I really feel for you guys that it's almost like this is something that you wanted to come back into your life. Um, maybe even for a long time you kind of wished for this to come back into your life and it never did and you moved on. And and I feel like this is a kind of like a divine timing kind of situation here because this, whatever this was, it's it's not meant for you at least not anymore, like when it was there, maybe it was, but it's not meant for you right now or in your immediate future. And it's like you had to heal to a certain point in order to be able to say no to this before it was able to come back into your life for any sort of closure or anything like that. So it's like there's been a lot of fogginess, a lot of uh, kind of unsure energy surrounding this but now that it's coming back it's like you guys are going to close the door on it and bring in that closure and that change and really move into the next phase of life wow and we have the maple spirit coming out with generosity um yeah so i really feel for group number three that there is this essence of wish fulfillment coming in with this like you're closing one door and a new door is opening and this new door has like a major blessing or manifestation behind it i really feel that for you guys something that you're going to want to celebrate um an accomplishment a wish fulfillment a manifestation 
whatever it is for you. It's something that you're going to want to celebrate. And it's something that you should celebrate. I feel group number three is something that you should celebrate. Allow yourself to celebrate and, you know, bring in this optimism to move into the next phase of your life. Okay. So our next card here is Baraka with power, strength, force, and expansion. Yeah, you guys are definitely expanding and growing and healing and um, moving into new kind of unchartered territory here. Um, but it was almost like you had to enforce your boundaries, your desires, and what it was that you were going to allow into your life before this could really open up for you. And then we have the burning man, collective power, supreme prayer, three of cups and celebration. Yes, there is celebration coming in for you guys. Allow yourself to celebrate this new chapter that you're moving into, this new phase of life. Allow yourself to celebrate how far you've come, group number three. Wow. So let's pull you a few last messages, group number three. Any last guidance or advice or actions that spirit wants you to take right now in regards to this? Uh, group number three. Okay. I'll take it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and organize this a little bit here. So our first card out here, this is the image, and I'm almost seeing like the sense of exhaustion, the sense of depletion, feeling very uh, malnourished, feeling very almost defeated, like at the end of your rope kind of energy. And that's always when we have our breakthroughs, group number three, always. And look at this, accomplishment. Remember past accomplishments as a way to overcome present self-doubt. How freaking perfect is that? Look at how far you've come. Look at what you've accomplished. Look at what you've built. Look at what you've created. Um, you are on the right path, group number three. Um, and I feel like you guys, like, this may have been, like, a very major kind of maybe karmic cycle or um, kind of a milestone in your life to maybe put these boundaries in place or really end this chapter, close this chapter. I feel it's a very big kind of turning point or cataclyst for you in your kind of evolution and your soul growth even. Our next card here, this is the image. Um, and we have success, enjoying your life and the unfolding of your creative abilities as much as possible is real success. Enjoying your life, celebrating your accomplishments, um, really like just, you know, take a minute to enjoy the success. Um, and then we also have this card here for you guys. And the message on this card is precision. The desire to do things precisely is useful as long as it does not devolve into rigidity. So I feel like this was kind of confirmation for you guys to know that um, like you've navigated through some portion of your life or through some sort of obstacle with this precision. Like you've accomplished this because of how precise you were and how you kind of really moved through this. Um, interesting. So this is what I'm seeing for you guys. Very big accomplishments that you've made, stepping into a new chapter of life, stepping into success and accomplishment and victory and celebration into a very high vibrational chapter of your life. I absolutely love this for you guys. But this is what I'm seeing for you. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.